Hello and welcome to video number two on Year 8 Fitness Assignment. We're going to break down section B with this video, so let's have a look. Remember, this is what your assignment looks like, and this is section B just sitting here nice and comfy. We're going to now go through that. So all you're doing for section B is you're just going to describe your client so that if anyone else needed to do the training program, they would know what the, who the client is and what they um, are aiming to do with their training program based off the information you know about your client. So you're needing to create a profile. So this is where you start actually writing up your training program. So you need to think about whether you're going to do it at the PowerPoint or a Word document and then start writing. So have a chat with your client. If you're working in pairs, you need to have a chat with that person that you're paired up with. And if you're doing this by yourself, you need to create your own profile about yourself. And we need to find out some things. So let's say I'm paired up with uh, Mr. Johnson and I says to him, okay, Mr. Johnson, what's your name? I pop that in, I put his age in and I start looking for other information such as his fitness test results. So he's going to hand me a copy of his fitness test results and I'm going to hand him a copy of mine and this is what we're going to do. We're going to have a look at the fitness test results and find out what um, Mr. Johnson's very good at and what he needs to work on and then we identify what he wants to do in the training program. So we have a look at the test results and maybe some of the strengths that Mr. Johnson has is uh, muscular power in his legs. Maybe he's really good at jumping very far. So um, we identified that as a strength. And he might say that one of his weaknesses is his balance because he didn't do well on the stalk stand test. And so he says, oh, you know, that's one of my weaknesses. I'm not very balanced. So that's some more information about our client that we put together in our profile. And then last but not least, we have a chat. And I find out from my client what do you want to achieve from this workout that I'm going to put together for you? So he might say, I just want to improve my general fitness. He might say, oh, um, I want to keep working on my muscular power because that's really important for the sports that I play. I want to be able to jump nice and high. Uh, you might also identify that he just wants to work on some of his weaknesses. He knows that balance is important and that's something he wants to work on as well. You also need to find out if your client has any injuries or concerns that they might have in doing physical activity. So they might say, hey, listen, I'm asthmatic. Please be mindful that if I run around a lot, that might not be great for me. Uh, or I've got a sore knee. I need to not do exercises where I'm putting a lot of pressure on my knee. So you need to plan around that for your client. And maybe just find out what they like to do and what they don't like to do. So if they say, I hate running, you might just drop down, I'll come up with something other than running, maybe skipping or um, something that doesn't involve the things that they don't like doing. And that's all you're doing for Section B. Good luck.